Hello everyone and welcome back to Wipe Knowledge. In this video, I am going to show you how to transfer a locally configured master access point or slave access point on the cloud. So as you can see, I have GWN 7605LR and it is configured as the master device. You can see here the device is configured as master and I want to transfer this on the cloud. So there are two ways to configure it on the cloud. The first option is to factory set the access point and add on the cloud with the MAC address and the default password. And you need also configure all the access point in the same way and need to configure the Wi-Fi as well. So it, it is a very lengthy process and it will take more time so the second way and which is very less time consuming and everything will be synced on the cloud so the second way to transfer in the access point configuration we have the option of transfer network group so in the transfer network group we can transfer all the access points like master and all the slave access points on cloud along with that we can config uh, we can transfer ssid we can uh, we can transfer all the other settings like captive portal settings everything which is configured on the local master on the cloud so before transferring I'll show you the SSID which I have configured here. So as you can see here, uh, we have configured VoIP knowledge SSID here. Now if we move on the configuration page and transfer network group. So from here we can transfer. So I'm showing you. So click on transfer network group. And we have one device to transfer on the cloud and there are two options GWN cloud or GWN manager so in this video we are transferring on the cloud so selecting GWN cloud and click on transfer option so as you click on transfer it will redirect you to the cloud page now click on go now so i already logged in otherwise you need to log in with the credential now we have the option to create a new network and give a network name so i'm giving here a network name as a VoIP knowledge and you can select the country as per your location so I'm leaving it as it is and now click on save option so now in this condition it will go back to the access point option and it will ask you to reset the access point so you can see here the data is successfully transferred to the GWN cloud or manager click ok to delete the pair devices slave ap which can be transferred successfully so now we are clicking on ok so the master access point and the slave access point will be factory resetted once the factory reset and boot up is done we can see the cloud and in that we can check so here you can see one more network list here created and here we can see that one access point is added here and that is currently offline because the access point is resetted and rebooted 
once done it will be online here we need to wait for some time as the cloud is also taking some time to sync the configuration so this way you can transfer all the access point on the cloud without adding one by one and it will save your time So now you can see the access point is now online with the IP address and we can check the SSID which we have seen in the local master. So you can see here the VoIP knowledge SSID is also visible here means the configuration from the access point master access point is synced on the cloud portal along with the Wi-Fi details so this way you can configure your access point if you have already configured in master and slave mode then you can transfer them on the cloud by this way thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel and like the video thank you